before any Smasher passing, okay, we look at the stupid fucking Mario trailer. What you want to see the what the what the Bing Bing Wahoo? I've been saving it for if you watch it. Somebody said, okay, I watched it already. So this isn't going to be a genuine reaction to it because I already saw it. But here's what I'm going to do. For the content, I'm going to pretend I didn't see it before, okay? What do you think of that? Mike, why does Donkey Kong... Why is his face stretched out? He has a Habsburg chin. What's wrong with Donkey Kong? Why does he look like that? So, like, magma fell off the, the Bowser's... Uh, it's like a ship. It's made out of... Wrong one. Oh, yeah, we saw this already. Wait... What? You hear it? So it looks like this is a reference to Smash Brothers, right? All right. If you notice, they're fighting on a thin beam, which is what happens in Smash Brothers. Unfortunately, we don't get to, to hear the Donkey Kong voice. But they're on uh, this this metal beam right here, forcing them into like fighting on a 2D plane, and the audience is seeing it from the side, which is just Smash Brothers. There's also like a couple of like objects up here, like like platforms, I guess. It's not a plane; it's a beam. Time him out. The, the idea that they're on a beam, like, that this is what they have to fight on, to me, is is a Smash reference. Like, okay, they're beating the shit out of each other. You always say it's a Donkey Kong reference, because he's got the the red girder. It's called a girder. That's the word. A girder. And there's also a barrels that probably, that you would hope at some point Donkey Kong throws at Mario. The, dude, the lore of this... Yeah, I've, I've actually read it, read into this recently. The the unspoken lore, and no, it wasn't Matt Pat. Okay, it might have it might have been Matt Pat. All right, it was Matt Pat, and he was talking about how in the original, you know, Donkey Kong arcade game, they believe that Donkey Kong was like Mario's pet, or like Mario owned Donkey Kong for the circus or some shit, and then like Donkey Kong busted loose for freedom. Or something and like kidnapped Peach or it was Pauline, Pauline to like stick it to Mario basically be like I have your woman now or something sounds moronic no but he had he had like real stuff to back it up he wasn't just talking out of his ass isn't that canon no I believe it is canon that's what I'm saying that's my point also look at the pose that Mario like has when he jumps at Dongly Nog <laughs> that's his aerial forward A in Smash Brothers Right, it is. it is. Yeah. That's his aerial forward A. Like, straight up. That's the, the wahoo! The bing bing wahoo fist. Only a Smash nerd would notice. I have been playing Smash Brothers since I'm like fucking 13, so. He's always had that aerial forward A. Uh, apparently, I'm talking over the dialogue. He's going to say, let's -a go over here. And chat's mad because I talked over Chris Pratt's amazing voice. Let's -a go. See, but if he doesn't have a fucking Italian accent, why would he say, let's a go? Why, would he not simply just say, let's go? Like, obviously, they're going for... Chris Pratt's going for Mario's American. So anything closer to, like, you know, Super Show Mario? But he should say, let's go. Let's -a go is only if he's fucking from Italy. Because there's that... There's two versions of Mario. There's the actual, like, Italian national Mario and then the, the, the Brooklyn Mario. Like... You can't have the best of both worlds here, Pratt. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> like, he wouldn't fucking say let's -a go if he's fucking born here, bro. Like, he would. Unless he was imitating his dumbass father. Who eats butt pissed and charcoal. I love the, the monkey king back there. Like, the, the Kong. Who's that Kong back there? Who's that guy? That was that. That's not grump, grumpy, cranky. That straight up is cranky, dude. Why does cranky? Why is cranky wearing like an Aztec royalty like hat? Like what's that? Like, cranky's not canonically a, a, a fucking king or something, right? Because he's Aztec. Aztec. Why is he Aztec? What's going on here? Why? What's the Aztec motif? Peach is sitting on an Aztec chair. Who's Aztec? Where was there any Aztec anything in in any of these games? Hey. 
Jack Black sounds fantastic. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. But I'm about to rule the world. He's doing a fucking awesome job. Say what you want. It's, it, he sounds fucking, fucking wow, awesome. Uh, yay. But there's one problem. There's a human. Has a there you go. There's Charlie Day. Uh, it's, it's Luigi. Mustache. Just like you. <laughs> do you think I know every human being he's, with a mustache? He's going to do plumbing. He's gonna actual plumbing takes place here. I like the bougie the, the bougie fucking sink fixture, right? Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> I, I like the gag there, but but I also I, I mean like okay fucking this voice I guess I mean I'm not like I'm not offend I'm not offended by it. It's just, it's just Charlie Day. It's just, it's just, he's just doing the same thing that Chris Pratt's doing. He's just doing, he's just being, he's doing his own fucking speaking voice. I don't care. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't care. A lot of what I'm seeing here is like, I'm indifferent to like, you, you know, you know how as you get older, you become dead inside. I felt very like you want to, my genuine, like, like reaction to this was dead inside. Like I watched this and just felt dead inside. Like I didn't get emotionally fucking like in, 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 enraged about anything let me put it to you this way i felt more like positive about it i think than 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 anything else where i was like i i'm actually feeling like after seeing this I, i'm looking forward to watching this i'm looking forward to watching this i think after this trailer yeah but most but mostly dead inside mostly dead inside the way i feel when i see most things it definitely i, I definitely didn't feel angry at, at any of it you know People are sh already shipping Bowser with Luigi. Um, so some I, I saw on Twitter, somebody ca screen capped, I think like this right here. And they were asking if Bowser and Luigi have like ever explored each other's bodies or something. Did anybody see that? I, I, I hate that I can't remember what the fuck, what the, what the tweet said. The tweet was terrible. Luigi looks like he enjoys claw play. <laughs> Look at that, everyone like Brooklyn because back I don't there. So, you notice how there's just random shit, like random stage elements just floating in the fucking sky Monster. for no reason? Ow. Doesn't that remind you of, of, of something? Doesn't that remind you of, 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 of something? <laughs> Mario Frontiers, dude. <laughs> Mario Frontiers, right? It's a training area. Oh, okay. So it, it's an obstacle course. It's, it's a Mario stage. It's a fucking Mario stage, right? And like Peach is walking him through it. Like Peach is gonna <laughs> teach Mario how to be Mario because Ma Peach knows everything about how to be Mario. Bowser apparently. is coming. I, I love the Bowser is coming, dude. Together we. I like the voice acting that this person is doing. Are going. To but look at her face, though. Why is her face weird? Stop. Her face is a little weird, right? I get well. I mean, all their faces are a little bit weird. They're a little bit different. They're they're not. They tweaked them, right? They tweaked all these faces. I saw somebody molding about about this. He was molding about the fact. I know most of you saw this because this was like everywhere. The person was doing a react reaction to this trailer, and they were molding about how fucking Peach is girl is is girl bossing, and how Peach is is um. I don't know, walking around like with an axe, like like a badass, or like doing anything. They were like mad, and they called it like Hollywood wokeism. But I mean, what did, what did what did they want? Like I, I that's that's my question. Like what did they want? Like I don't understand. It will probably be annoying. What Peach being a girl boss? Well, I mean, like what would you prefer? Because basically, she what, what is she gonna be? You know, like what like what else is there? Like what? Well, don't forget, you've been playing as this character in games since like 1998 or something. Other, you know, otherwise, okay. So she gets kidnapped a lot, and I'm gonna, I'm willing to bet you at some point in this movie she's gonna get kidnapped. That's probably gonna be the third act. Oh my God, Bowser got Peach. I have to go save her, because what if that did didn't happen in this movie? But it doesn't mean she has to be a fucking useless flesh bag the entire time. Like outside of that, you know. I mean, dude. Um. Buntime says, I want um I want her to get captured and have three voice lines and blow Mario at the end. 
No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really trying to fucking listen to the, to like the incels fucking argument, and like take it seriously, okay? Because you're making a movie out of, out of a fucking IP, right? Where like for the, for, for mo most of the time, most of the time, in most of the games, this character does nothing, and this character is, is a fucking, um, a prop basically. So Mario has something to do, you know, like in, in most of the games, I'm going to say in like, in like half of the games, in like half the games, Peach is not playable. She has very little dialogue and she's a MacGuffin. Most of the time she's just a MacGuffin. You know, she's your, 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 your fucking, um, your OG like damsel in distress or whatever. Right. But now you're taking that shit. And, and that's just when she is that, because don't forget, she's not always that right. She's actually pretty well fleshed out, but you're now taking that shit and you're putting it into a, 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 a fucking movie where now she can't just be meat. She can't just be a MacGuffin anymore. Like she's got to like, you know what I mean? Like you have to add things that maybe like aren't there so much. And what do you, what do you, what do you have to work on? You have to work on. She's a fucking princess. And ostensibly she does governing of some sort when she's not getting kidnapped. Like what happens when she's not getting kidnapped? Like, is she doing not? Because don't forget where's there's no King. We've talked about that before. Where's the fucking King. There's never been a King. So ostensibly, ostensibly, she does fucking something. And I mean, like, if she just sat around and like, I don't know if she what I'm what I'm trying to say is if she didn't have any girl bossery happening, it, it, happening at all, then that might be like boring or stupid. You know, I don't know. Or it's woke, you know, whatever the fuck that person said, you know, woke mob, whatever the fuck. But I think it's more that personally. This sucks unless Mario gets a sexy skin tight racing suit getup. Well, we'll see. Oven Mitt has a challenge to illumination. Create a storyline in which Peach gets breast cancer. Yep. <laughs> we have a challenge to IDOS. In Tomb Raider 3, create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. Imagine the drama. Um, Peach shouldn't be pegging Mario. What is up with the woke left? I didn't see pegging in this trailer, though, dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe Daisy will be in the movie, and you'll see some actual like girl bossing, as in like I have fucking bodies hidden under the floorboards. Girl bossing, like like that kind of girl bossing, where like she's got a fucking body count, and you're like, oh man, wow. Like, I seduce men and fucking bring them back to my apartment where I poison them and fucking, you know, slowly slice pieces of their body off over weeks. Because that's Daisy's energy, right? Max Minerva points out that if this is an isekai, Peach has yet to have value to Mario. So the kidnapping of Peach isn't as impactful as the kidnapping of Luigi. Fuck, dude. So you think Luigi is just going to be like a, a guy cocked this whole movie and people are going to actually jerk off to it? Is Luigi going to blow him at the end? So Luigi blows his brother? Probably not, bro. I'm going to guess that there's no fucking, like, fraternal incest, dude. Cocked Luigi. Yeah, people will jack off to the cocked Luigi, though. They'll jack off to, like, yeah, the Luigi and, and Bowser ship. But you're going to see that, that Bow Luigi is not kidnapped the whole movie. We didn't finish this trailer. Frankly, Peach should get fucking kidnapped at some point. Again, I don't think Peach has to be useless, but Peach should get kidnapped because that's what happens. Unless they're saving it for the sequel. Maybe they're saving it for the sequel. He got pulled up. Bill. It's like a training montage, right? And he fell off the fucking Cheerio platforms. I hate the Cheerios. Come on, Mario. Our big adventure begins now. Captain Toad. Ah, get it up, get it up, get Yo, that up. thing's making out with him. Can I point out? That that's three out of the four characters together for what is it? Which, which game is it? They just it's just missing Luigi, right? Mario two. I remember somebody being mad again. It was another like you know incel, and they were mad that fucking Peach is has to yank the fish off Mario's face because like he couldn't do it himself. And I'm like, should she have left it on there and just like watched him die? What, what did, I don't understand. Like, what do you want? Like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? She should have just left the fucking fish on his face and watch Mario slowly suffocate. <laughs> like, uh, she should have. She shouldn't have. <laughs> Why does Peach have to help him? He's Mario. Okay. She should have just let him die. It's true. It's true. Tanuki. It's Tanuki suit. Fire flower. There's a huge universe out there. With a lot of 
Because it's an isekai and she's from the, the Mario the kingdom and he's not. So she has to teach him about all the stuff that's in the fucking kingdom, bro. That's why she's giving him the training montage and everything. And that's, you know, I guess it has to be that way because who else was going to do it, you know? Or they could have made it not an isekai. And by the way, a lot of this to me is implying that Rosalinda is going to be in this movie. They're all counting on us. I think there is going to be Rosalinda. Do you know that Luigi has the vacuum cleaner? That's a vacuum no cleaner. That's a vacuum cleaner, right? It's a tool bag. It's not. Oh, 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 my bad. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a vacuum cleaner. I guess I'm just seeing. It. No pressure. Look at this. Maybe there's going to be ghosts, though. Maybe. Look, it's a slow motion yellow. It's so cool. That's Rainbow Road with like every fucking like, dude. Who who's driving these? Like, is that the Koopa Kids and shit? Like, is this is this all the motherfuckers that are in? It's the Toads. Who's back there? Is that an ape? Who's this ape? Yo, who's this Kong? That's Funky. That's Ki that's D Diddy Kong. Who guys? That does not look. Like oh, Funky is here. That's pretty. That's pretty hype, guys. But that's conf I didn't see that. I was looking at this ape. That's funky confirmed. And that is that is bodacious. That is bodacious. That's very bodacious. What a dick. The wa yeah, the wahoo is is sad. Where's Lanky? He's dead. Chunky Kong found dead in my in Miami. Okay, that's it, I guess. So you get your Wahoo, and he's... The, 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 this is interesting, though. Like, like in what, what contrived plot device could there possibly be to include any element of fucking Mario Kart? Dixie Kong, Swanky Kong, did these, all these Kongs, are, they're confirmed, guys? They're all confirmed for the movie? There's another identical Funky Kong in this car over here. Like, dude, there's ma there's many Kongs. There, there's there's two fucking Funky Kongs. Why are there two Funky Kongs, bro? Swanky. This is the first time in my life I'm hearing about Swanky Kong. That's Funky Kong's brother. Fucky. <laughs> Fucky Kong. Yeah, dude. I mean, there, there there you go. I mean, was there any aspect of this that Wahoo! did not get discussed? Like he he did a little drift. Wahoo! 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 <laughs> Sucky Kong. I did see the clip of, um, yeah, the French dub. The French voice actor it actually sounded like Charles. But whatever. I, I mean, I think it, it, I think this movie could be cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, like, how, how bad could it fucking be? Like, what are they, like, how are they going to, dude, it ain't going to be no 1980, what, 1987 movie 1988 even if it's bad it'll have entertainment value in terms of dogpiling on it like morbius yeah yeah yeah